Hello everyone. I uh, just want to do some uh, some more roundabouts for you. Uh, at this present time, I'm outside the test centre. This is uh, the test centre of Norris Green, and I'm going to do the double roundabouts. I don't I call them notorious double roundabouts. Now you may get this when you're just going out in your test, and you may get it when you're finishing your test. So I'm going to show you the two difficult ones that my pupils and other pupils that I've seen come to this test centre how would they, they struggle on that because there's two roundabouts right next to each other and in between the roundabouts there is a crossing okay so i'll show you this diagram here this is the official one of the dbsa this is off the the test center manager out of here they also do it on the sat now but i'm just going to show you that on, uh, on, on with these cameras i've got three cameras here i've got one facing towards the test center one facing me and one facing the head so we are actually here now in the driving test centre. At the end of this road, which you'll be able to see when I put all the cameras together, is you're going to turn left. And then we're going to come to this dual carriageway here. So it's left again. All right, so they may pull you up when you get around the corner and give you like an independent drive. Like say, take the next left and the, the first roundabout, you want to go right. The second roundabout, you go ahead, second exit. So uh, whatever it is, I'm going to show you how to do it in a moment. But just I'll just roughly run you through with this diagram, okay? So you're going to be turning into this road, and I'm going to say right, right on the first, which is this first roundabout, and then ahead on the second. Now, so obviously, so with the millisecond manoeuvre, as we other videos that I've shown you, yeah. So you got your millisecond manoeuvre, and when you get to this point, this is where you make your assessment. When you look and you're assessing, is this you know decision? So is is it safe to go or so on that decision, you may have to stop or you can go. But what you do is you got your indicator on round here. Make sure the indicator comes off. Now normally under normal on normal circumstances, we normally say mirror mirror indicate left to come off the round. Make it. You got to make an exception with this common sense applies because you're going onto the second one. If you mirror indicate left to come up the roundabout here, that means you're going over to the left, which you may end up coming up this exit, which would be the wrong one because they want you to go onto the right on the first one, and the second exit is straight ahead. See, when you get to this point, bear in mind you've got a crossing here. This crossing here has got a curb in between it, so you can treat it as two separate crossings. So if you come to this crossing and somebody's on this one, it doesn't mean you have to stop. You can carry on, providing that they're not right next to here. If they're over on this side here, then it's safe you to go. By, by the way, make sure there's no one on this side. Just if there is someone, check your mirrors and stop here safely. Then you've got your give way line just here. All right. So now you want to go ahead. Now remember, I've spoke to you before in other videos. What you can go ahead and either lane when there's two lanes on, two lanes off. As you can see, there's two lanes on, two lanes off, two lanes on, two lanes off two lanes on two lanes off two lanes on two lanes off so when my strong advice to do is get when you're next to this roundabout just make sure the in, the right indicator comes off and then approach this obviously cautiously because there might be someone on the crossing if it's clear just keep going but stay in the lane next to the roundabout because here it's not on the diagram but there's a bus stop just there there's a chemist there, and sometimes the chemist van there's definitely parked cars further up here. So if you just stay in this lane and mirror really indicate left when you get to this point to so let the traffic know here that you're leaving and the traffic that's coming on that you're going off here, and then you're going your merry way, and then when you get past the last of the parked cars, you've got to get back to the left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a shortcut through the estate. Did you go through the estate? And I'm gonna come back round so that you come to the opposite side. So this way, you will be heading back to the test centre, so this will be at the end of your test. So on, on the beginning, you're going to be really nervous. By this time, you should be more confident, so, but it's exactly the same. You head back this way, and it's right on the first. I find when, on this one, people get intimidated, and it's just the, the way the, the position of the roundabout is, but just stay in your lane, hold your nerve, watch out for the crossing again, watch out for the giveaway line, watch out for the software coming around here, and stay in this lane and follow it around. Okay, you can go in this side, but it means you've got to change the lanes over here, but you really don't want to be doing changing lanes in the middle of the round. Don't stick in this lane here, follow it around here, and then what you'll find is that the things that are going to happen here is that someone might be blocking this part of the roundabout because they're trying to get through to the shops in the Broadway. 
just wait let it clear and then away you go if you do decide to come in this lane then there's a bus stop just there there's also a crossing um, a pelican crossing here well not only is the bus the bus might be there but like, you're guaranteed to get parked cars parked cars in there so what i'll do is i'll just go and show you i'm going to go to the bottom of the road here i'm going to turn left so when, so imagine a minute and imagine there's a road here go left <coughs> get to the dual carriageway turn left i'm going to minute over to this this lane here and then i'm going to do a right on the first i'm going to stick next to the lane next to the roundabout and then i'm going to go ahead second exit and you can see it's written on here all right but i'm just going to show you because you might be like me visual learner you better have seen how it's done and then as i say be cautious about the uh, the crossing the giveaway line nobody coming around here go on to the round or in mirror indicate left but remember to fully it round and go in this lane yeah because you're guaranteed somewhere up here there'll be parked cars so that's my strongly advise it and then i'll show you the other coming back this way and i'll also show you that this one here where you go ahead and you can go ahead and idle lane all right so i hope you got a good picture of this and anyway, i'm going to show you how to do it and it shouldn't take too long but i am going to cut through the through the estate and i'll probably stop there and, and then i'll start the, the videos again uh, but anyway uh, I'm going to show you how to do. Come out to the Notice Green Test Centre, turn left, left onto the dual carriageway, fair, do a right on the first roundabout, ahead second exit. Remember, this is the second exit, that would be the first. And then I'll show you how to do it. Okay. I shall endeavour to solve your problems. Don't remember, seatbelt seat first. You know, I'm always going on about this. If you've seen me videos before, really important you get the seat belts on here all right send the music down you can see the test center on the left there and as it, you can see how it's good this is because of the covid by the way it's the 11th of april so tomorrow is the 12th that's why i'm doing this video now because look tomorrow's going to be chock a block around there with people practicing with all the instructors i'm an instructor myself but i remember to check all the way around and i'm to myself that they'll all be out tomorrow I'm going to just do this. This one, I reckon this one, right on the first and ahead on the second is the most difficult. You can just go past the test centre there, there's there. That's not a screen. You see where they got the cones out? It's sort of like COVID friendly. You used to be able to park next to each other, but you can't now. So we'll come to the end of here. Mirror, mirror, indicate left. Let's see what it's like. Just going to cover the brake, squeezing it gently like a tomato. And it looks fairly quiet. Yeah, a bit of gas, plus hold to the bite. A bit more gas. Off the gas cuts down, cuts up. I shouldn't be doing this really because if you, if you go on me on my channel, you'll see me doing all uh, for your feet. So I'm going to go left here, so middle, 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 indicate left. They may pull you up on this road and you're getting dependent on towards here. Braking gently. I'm going to follow the curve to the left here. You want to make sure you want to be pointing that way. I'm in first, I can see a car coming, you can probably see it yourself. Gas had to have a bit of a low slope there, so I usually use my handbrake off the gas clutch down. So it's Sunday today, so you're quite likely you want to be getting try and park cars here. We've got a bit of a speed to come up on the right here, so we're all right. So now I want to change lane here now, so I want to get over now to this lane because when you're doing a right at a roundabout, there's two lanes, make sure you get on the right hand lane. So I'll show you, there's a little gap here where cars can come through. So all we want to do is check our mirrors, slow the car down, go down to second, bring the clutch up, and I'm just minute indicate, minute indicate now. So you can see this car's coming, so it's fairly busy, not too bad. It's a fair, so that's me set. My decision is it's safe to go. Okay, and then up the gas, clutch down, clutch up smoothly. And there we go, stay in this lane now, make sure that goes off. There's the crossing, there's no one here. I'm watching out for this car here, but it's gone straight on. So I'm staying in the same lane. You're allowed to do this. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to indicate left to let these know that I'm coming off. And there we go. You see where the money about park cars? The gas cuts up, where's the gas pedal? And as I say, I'm going to cut into the into the estate now, so because I want to get it back to the to the roundabout and do the opposite way. So imagine this is the bit where you're just starting your test. If you get this route, there's quite a few routes on the screen. So 
Well, when I said no, you remember, get past these parked cars, we're going to get back to the left. But I'm actually going to turn left into this little road here. It's a bit of a tight one, this mirror, mirror. Indicate, they can tell me, it is a bit tight. And we'll go down to first on this one. It was really tight. And that's it. I can see the speed limit. This is where they're looking for the response to traffic signs. And that's a classic one there. And it is a 20, it's gone to about 20 years. So this is the thing that you're being tested on. When you're going to a new road, always look up 